0973. Eight minutes before eight is the time. Dame Cressida Dick with us, of course, straight after eight. Let's come back to our conversation. We'll suspend our, what we're saying about Israel and Gaza in a moment. Come back to our conversation concerning coronavirus. And if you were listening to me this week, you'll know that I benefited from my second or booster early this week. And can I urge you, if you get the opportunity for the love of all that's holy, keep that appointment, get there, have the first dose, have the second dose. It is crucial. None of us are safe and all of us are safe. And I say this with relevance to the headlines that I'm going to discuss now with a man who knows far more about this than I. I speak of vaccines, Minister Nadim Zahawi. There are concerns, Minister. Thank you for coming on the show. Race to stop Indian strain is one headline. Easter jabs for millions to combat the variant. Minister, how concerned are you and your colleagues? Good morning. Good morning, Nick. So the B1617.2, which is one of three uh, strains that were first uh, found in India, is the one that is uh, a variant of concern because uh, the rate of infection. So last week it was 520 people. This week is 1,313 people. We've identified, I think, about 4,400 uh, cases and have contacted 14,000 of their close contacts. Uh, today, we're announcing a, a surge uh, a testing program. 100 nurses, public health practitioners, environmental health practitioners going to Bolton and Formby, door to door knocking, a mobile um, a testing unit for PCR tests. Uh, please take advantage of those tests and get yourself tested. We've delivered 800,000 PCR tests um, around England to 15 areas where we are surge testing at scale and then genome sequencing. And the most important bit to add to what you've just said, which is to get your vaccine, is if you are um, found to be positive, please isolate immediately because the way we break the cycle of infection of this uh, variant is to uh, make sure that we obviously test people, genome sequence and then isolate. Isolate, isolate, isolate is the, is the message if you are found to be positive. I know it's the second day of Eid after the month of Ramadan. People are anxious to meet each other in the Muslim community and other communities as well. But just please be careful and do take advantage of those tests. Just picking up on that, Minister, I note that some of the areas where this additional testing will be Bolton and Blackburn, these are areas that have quite heavy uh, numbers of people of Asian origin living there. Do, do we? Is that tracked back to the Indian strain or it's just a pure coincidence? Nadim Zahawi. So... Um, Public Health England have said, obviously, um, the India strain is from obviously travel and people uh, before uh, uh, India was on uh, the red list um, uh, clearly could have travelled and uh, it have caught the infection and then transmitted it. The important thing now is to make sure that we you know, effectively do what we've done before. We did it in, in parts of London, I think Lambeth. Uh, a few weeks back, uh, where we go door to door, we surge test, we um, sequence, genome sequence, and then isolate rapidly. And that's how you break the cycle. Now, the good news is there is no um, evidence that the, this, you know, the, 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 this variant uh, delivers a more severe disease in terms of uh, the individual or hospitalization, nor is there any evidence that it evades the vaccine. So it's not resistant to AZ or Moderna or Pfizer or whatever it might be, Minister? To our, so knowledge, we, to our knowledge. To our knowledge, there is no evidence to suggest that. We're waiting for further, obviously, clinical advice on that. The important thing is, if you remember the four tests, vaccines at scale, make sure that the vaccines continue to be effective against the uh, virus. Three, infection rates, keep them down, keep suppressing them, and variants. So this is all part of suppressing the, the infections. Why? Because viruses get desperate to survive, they mutate by infecting people, and the thing we have to stop is that infection rate and the, and and suppress, bear down on it as hard as we can. You and your colleagues will be studying this more closely than I am, uh, Minister. But I note each day I give the fantastic success that you and everyone else has achieved with the first dose, with the booster dose. But I note for the last four or five days the number of infections having gone down in a rolling seven-day average for weeks actually, Mr Zahawi, I think the last four or five days is actually starting to tick up. This morning it's up by 12 percentage points in a rolling seven-day average new infections, 2,657. Does that again speak to concerns and speak to concerns about the so-called Indian strain, Mr Zahawi? Exactly right, Nick. So if you look at the rolling seven-day average on infections, they are up by 12.4%. Hospitalisation is down by 7.9% down and deaths are down by 16%. That is 
good news because it, it tells you that the vaccines are clearly working in terms of hospitalization and severe infection and deaths. All right. Um, but the infection rate is is what is concerning, which is why we have to you know, surge test, uh, do the 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 the, yes. the sequencing, and then isolate people. Listeners can help us by taking advantage of the lateral flow test. Look, I've got one right here. Yes, I see it. Yep, in the blue box. Yep. Right, twice a week, and then if you're positive, do your PCR test for free in those fifteen areas. If you're found to be positive, isolate, 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 because that's how we break the, the cycle transmission. Let me ask you this, and we have been fairly candid with each other down these past few months. Is there now possibility of the next step on the roadmap, i.e. June 21st, this could now actually have to be put on ice? Mr Zahawi. So the real, uh, you know, the, the, the important thing to remember is that the four weeks plus one period uh, was real and was deliberate. Why? Because... It gives us enough time to collect the evidence, the data, as Chris Whitty described it in, in the sort of early press conference when, when we announced the roadmap, and then to be able to analyze it. So the, you know, Monday is still on because obviously hospitalization. Sure, I realize that, but I'm, 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 my eye is really looking a little further. I have to put it to you again. There is a possibility then that we might have to press pause as part of June 20, June 21. And, and the way we, we don't have to do that is by, you know, everybody doing their bit by you know taking the, the two uh, tests a week you didn't say no artists, okay. areas, and, and to isolate 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 because we've got to break the cycle of infection because one of those big tests was infection rates have to be suppressed and the other big test is variants if those cause us a problem then the test will fail the All four right. tests have to be met for the 21st of june uh, much as I enjoy our time together, I only time for a couple more questions because I've got the Commission of the Met waiting to get in. So just a couple of last ones. Uh, when you were in receipt of text messages from David Cameron, how did you respond, Minister? Well, I responded as, as um, David Cameron has said, which is he asked for uh, Richard Sharp's number, who's the special advisor, was the special advisor in Treasury, and I uh, gave him that number. Um, I, I maybe misphrased that. How did you react emotionally? What do you think? Wow, here's the former boss on the line. How did you? Now, I don't know what I think if Mr. Murdoch was to suddenly text me. <laughs> well, look, the yeah, way I react to, is I react to David Cameron or anyone else. Um, uh, and in that case, he, he wasn't asking me to do anything other than give him a phone number. Uh, if there are um, issues that are to do with my role as a minister or my department, is I refer them to my officials and they deal with them okay. in the correct way. And, 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 and lastly, um, he okay. used to sign them off, love DC. Uh, does the boss now sign off, love BJ? <laughs> uh, uh, no, he doesn't. He signs off his comrade. Comrade. <laughs> Love, well, thank you, comrade. Good speaking to you, the Minister. Best to your family. Have a safe weekend. It's 8 o'clock on LBC. Dame Cressida, most senior copper in the land here, taking your calls after this. On your radio, on Global Player, and... Play LBC. Leading Britain's conversation. This is LBC. From Global's newsroom at 8 o'clock, second vaccine doses could be brought forward as the government considers how to respond to the Indian coronavirus variant. Ministers also aren't ruling out local lockdowns. Cases